Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and we're going to um, try to answer the questions that I'm getting all the time about um, Android on Windows um, with of course the talk of the Android Windows subsystem for Android coming. A lot of people are speculating of all sorts of things including a lot of people thinking it's the full Android experience with the Google Play Store and it's not exactly like that, but at the same time, we'll talk about some of the uh, little things we learned from the tech enthusiasts that actually play around with it. Also, Windows 10 is not going to be totally left out. Not because Microsoft's going to do something about it, because Microsoft's uh, subsystem is only for Windows 11. But Android might be coming to Windows 10 through what Google wants to do is some kind of you know, Android gaming experience coming to Windows, both Windows 11 and Windows 10. So first things first, this month uh, we're going to have availability for everybody of the um, Windows subsystem for Android. Now the Windows subsystem for Android, what is that and what does that mean? Uh, the Windows subsystem for Android is going to be, and you see it here, Windows Subsystem for Android in the settings, is going to be a part of Windows 11 that can run Android, uh, but with a catch. The um, Android will be driven with a partnership that Microsoft has with Amazon. So the Amazon App Store is going to show up, and that's where you will be able to um, download apps from uh, that are Android apps from Amazon. Now, the way it works um, is that the Amazon App Store is, of course, tied to what they have as the Fire OS. Fire OS is an Amazon, an Amazon, an Android variation that is used on a Amazon's own devices. It is an Android, but it's just kind of modified to be and act like it's just Amazon. On these devices, we know that we can sideload. So for example, I have a Fire OS, the latest Fire OS tablet here, and that I like very much because for the price, it's really, really nice. And it is, um, you know, with little instructions on the internet, I was able to, you know, install the Google Play Store and have the full Google Play Store experience on the tablet. So from tech enthusiasts, what we know, and before we go there, just note that that's what the experience is going to be. So you're not going to have the Google Play Store from, you know, the way it works in um, with Microsoft. So some of you might actually be un uh, underwhelmed by this experience at first. From the tech enthusiast point of view, what I've seen is that um, people that have installed the Windows subsystem for Linux were able to sideload the Google Play Store and services, meaning your Windows 11 becomes a full-on Windows um, Android device, if you want, with the Google Play Store apps. So. That means with a little bit of imagination and a little bit of help on the web, some of you will be able to install the Google Play Store from what I've noticed. And you'll get the full experience. Now, on Windows 10, I said that maybe something's coming, and that is not coming from Microsoft. On Windows 10, what we have learned is that Google is preparing a gaming side for Android for Windows. What it wants is that Android, popular Android games come to the Windows PC through what is their uh, own experience for uh, Windows. Once again, it's not a full Windows, um, you know, a Google Play app. It's, it's not a Google Play Store app. It's really just a gaming side that they're bringing, but I suspect that more might be possible because it'll have an Android environment on it. Now, this is going to come to Windows 10 also. They they have made clear that it's not just Windows 11, it's Windows 10 also. 
So Windows 10 is actually going to get some form of Android side because of Google. And Windows 11 is going to get its Android side because of the Amazon Store, Windows Subsystem for Android, and the gaming side also coming. <clears throat> so all of that together, we're going to see what is going to happen and how it's going to work. But uh, it's going to be an interesting uh, thing to look at for sure. Now, uh, the other thing that uh, we need to know about what's coming this month with the uh, Android App Store, the Amazon App Store for Android, is that this is going to be, from what we see right now, U.S. only. That means you'll have to tell your computer in the, in the United States, and you'll have to create an Amazon U.S. account. It's the only way it's going to work. So that also is a problem because a lot of people around the world are going to say, what? Okay, I, I, I don't see this. Well, you don't see it because it's probably U.S. only for now. Hopefully, will be expanding to other markets as time goes by. So all of that together means, you know, what's going to happen? Uh, like many of you have mentioned, there are out there already apps, you know, like BlueStacks that run Android apps. Um, so it's not like it's something totally new, but what we know is, of course, it's, that's a different deal. And these apps, uh, I've tried a few, like BlueStacks, they, they tend to crash a lot. I don't know if they've improved. I haven't used them in a long time. But um, we'll see what's possible with the, uh, with the Windows subsystem for Android. We're going to see also what's possible with the gaming, Android gaming that, that micro, uh, Google wants to bring to even Windows 10. And we'll, of course, have all of these little tricks as time goes by on how to uh, possibly add more than meets the eye on these uh, different uh, new options that will be available. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.